Okay, when we enter into new relationships, we often do so with high hopes and excitement, with a plan to devote all our time, energy, and resources gladly. Most times, you are in love with someone you cherish and can relate with. The expression is that this is one, or the expectation is that this is one venture that must not and should never fail. And then, bang. Something terrible, horrible happens, John. And like they say, the center no longer holds. <laughs> Everything changes and there is trouble. And the question, should I go or should I stay, takes center stage. So Helen, that's why we are here today. Fortunately or unfortunately? Fortunately, because we're here with some answers. Yes. Love now gives way to suspicion which sometimes leads to separation and maybe, sadly, there is divorce. Well, our first set of guests are here in the studio and they will help us make a lot of sense in this area. Yes, we, hope. we actually have one guest in the studio and the other one on Zoom. Yes. And uh, the first guest is Modupe Kolawole. Uh, Modupe has a passion to help uh, people in need and she has a great listening ear, or mm. a set of listening ears. <laughs> uh, she's trained as a counselor in the USA, where she's a member of the Sarasota Academy of Christian Counseling. Is that correct? A member of American Association of Christian Counselors. Mrs. Kolawole is a certified member of the Institute of Chartered Mediators and Counselators. She is the owner of MK Smile again. <laughs> and also joining us via Zoom, like John said earlier, is Taribu Joseph, who simply is the founder, Emotional Massage Studios, um, counselor, mental health advocate, CBT practitioner. And to both of, of you this morning, we say thank you for joining us on the show. All right, so I start with Mudukwe because she's physically with me in, here in the studio. I hope Taribo does not mind. Uh, ladies Taribo, first. Ladies, ladies first. first like okay. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we've heard so much about beliefs, um, culture, and values. Now, what do these three words mean? And why are they so critical, so relevant to the success or the breakdown of relationships? Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Thank you. Good morning. Um, I'm glad to be here. And... Uh, well, let's just um, start. Let's, let's give a brief description of what those three things are. Mm -hmm. So beliefs are, they're assumptions that you hold to be true. Um, there are, mm -hmm. you know, there are different types of beliefs. There are, there are positive and negative beliefs. Mm -hmm. um, so for instance, if you pour hot water on your, on your hand mm -hmm. and uh, you assume that it's going to burn you, you know, that's kind of like um, a rational belief. So yes. we have the rational and irrational beliefs. Um, an example of an, an irrational belief is uh, something like, um, well, since we're talking about relationships, yeah. where you say, um, if I go into that relationship, I'm sure I'm going to mess it up. That is mm. an irrational belief. I mean, it is, it is, yes, it is just an assumption that you hold to be true. Mm. It's not necessarily true. While values, um, values are more like principles that are dear to you, that you hold, that are worthy, that you hold, you know, that are very important to you. Mm. So that's what the, that was what values are. So they're kind of, um, as I said, they're, they're the principles. Now, uh, common values, when you have common values that are shared by a group or shared by a community, that is what culture is. So culture is um, okay. a set of common values that is shared by a set of people or um, a community. So, and, and these and this, um, common values are passed from generation to generation to generation. Hmm. So for instance, let's say in a, in a village or in a town, um, whatever the, um, the older people hmm. believe whatever principles that they believe, that they hold very dear to themselves. Mm -hmm. So for instance, um, they believe that if they go near the water, uh, they could drown. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. You know, uh, that's something that it, 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 it's a belief that they, it's, it's a value that they hold very dear to themselves. And they pass that from generation to generation. Well, if you clean your house in the night, you'll be poor. <laughs> you see, so, something, something like that. They hold it very, it. very dear, you know, yeah. very, very dear really, to their hearts. Really, if you clean your house you at sweep night. If you sweep at night. Yeah. yeah, I know. My parents used to yeah, say, <laughs> say to us that, no, you're not allowed to, to sweep. Sweep at night. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. okay, great. So, I mean, now, now all of these, all of these things um, reside in our in our brains, yeah, yeah. yeah. and we carry we carry them over. We even pass them on. That's to, right. I, I think I'll ask a terrible to help out mm. with the next question. Now, now these words, belief, culture, values, mm. can they be unlearned, terrible? I mean, can they be reapplied to individuals' beliefs, cultures, or culture and, and values, values terrible? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, John and Helen. Uh, talking about belief, you know, first of all, yes, it can be unlearned, but we must realize how our belief system are formed. You, you get. And I tell people always that you should never underestimate the power of a person's perception because our belief system stems from our culture. So where have we been? the culture we've been exposed to in our immediate environment, in our community. Mm -hmm. So that's where our belief system come from. And we believe with them. So for someone that really believes a particular thing, you must understand that they might have taken that experience as their ideal. I believe a woman should take care of a home. Now it is a deep-rooted belief that will form their values. So it is possible because as a CBC practitioner, I also uh, understand that every behavior, every skill can be learned, but it takes time. Mm -hmm. And if the individual is ready to open up themselves to new knowledge, right, then you can change your belief system. Then you find out that you change your value system and your behavior begins to change. So yes, it can change, but yeah. it takes time. Mm -hmm. And depending on the severity of that belief system, and if you know and you believe that, okay, this, my ideal, is not, this, my reality, is not the ideal when it comes to looking at the global world. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it is good to embrace change. Then that change begins to happen that way. Mm -hmm. Excellent. We're talking about relationships. We're talking about a married relationship, a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, um, something that is that important. So surely, let me come back to you, woman to woman. <laughs> <laughs> there would be benefits and advantages with our beliefs, culture, and values. What are they? And if you also remember the last question I asked you, I was talking about the um, what are the benefits? Why are these so important in the breakdown or in the sustenance of a family relationship? So you could okay, you know, just, jam the yeah, two together. Yes. Now, um, our beliefs are extremely important. So to, it, makes, it makes you, it makes who you are. Sure. So your belief um, or your culture or your value, the total, it, it makes who you are. It makes you the person that you are. So... <clears throat> When, when you uh, have these values and beliefs and, and uh, you walk in them and you try to relate them to your environment, you know, it's, um, there, there, are lot, there, there are lots of advantages to it. Um, we all know that there are some certain culture of um, values that have been passed down yeah. from generation to generation that is still helping mm. relationships today. Um, there is, uh, I mean, for instance, communication. Communication is something that's been passed down. Um, and if you walk in it, in your relationship, it will definitely help. It's a good, that's a good advantage. Um, since you asked for the advantages, yeah. there are lots of you know, disadvantages to uh, having um, cultural beliefs as well that do not particularly gel with the today. Mm. Because things are changing. Okay. So we need to change 
with, with you times. know, the, yes. with the times. Yes. Um, and uh, well, how do they affect? How do they affect relationships? Now we all come with our different values. We all come with our different beliefs, and uh, we come with that, and we join together as a couple yeah. or as friends in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And um, because we bring all these different ideas, we have to find a way to merge it. We have to find a way to table our beliefs with our um, whoever we're having a relationship with. Sure. Um, because, I mean, it's not just in marriage, it's also in friendship as well. Yeah. We have to you know, table them, let each other know what our values are, and then if you let me know what your values are, I would be able to respect you yes. for them. Mm -hmm. if, I, if you know what my beliefs are, and that you'll be able, you'd understand the reason why I behave okay. in Maybe certain ways. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Because, I mean, for instance, um, and Hilly was talking about sweeping at night. Yeah. You don't sweep at night. Mm. So if you have, uh, if you're in a relationship with somebody who feels that we need to clean at night, mm. and you're thinking, uh-uh, <laughs> mm -mm. I do not want to be I poor. <laughs> I am definitely not sleeping at night, you know. Yeah. But you don't let the person understand yes. that, that, yeah. that, that, that belief, belief that you have. Mm. Yeah. Then it, it, it causes a friction. friction. Yeah. Yes. It causes a friction because the guy or uh. whoever it is will think that, oh, you're a dirty person. Mm. Uh, you don't like to clean. Yeah. Well, that's not the case. Uh. So it's wow. always very good to... For, for people in relationships to share, okay. you know, what their beliefs, what their uh, values are. Yes. And um, that way, some, well, you, find a, you find a middle ground somehow. Yeah, and that, then you uh, understand each other a whole lot uh, better. That is important. Yes. Okay. Well, I want to believe that Taribo doesn't clean at night. <laughs> <laughs> Taribo, I'll show, I'll, show you, I'll show you don't clean at night. But would it, would it be right to assume, Taribo, that um, there is nothing cast in stone? You know, and that over time, values and beliefs may change. So they are flexible. Am I right to assume so? Yes, yes, you're, you're totally right. They're, they're flexible, just like I said earlier. Uh, because if you come to understand that, uh, especially in relationships, that everything is not black and white, that there are gray areas, that uh, when two persons come together to get married or to be in a relationship, they are some total of their experiences which has formed their belief system. So if I grew up in a family where uh, we express our emotions, where uh, we tell each other, I love you, right? And you come and you meet another person and they don't say this. Your spouse, your significant other grew up in a family where the man assumes the position of the lion and he comes into the home and everyone just runs away because now we need to behave. You find out now that there is a disconnect. Mm -hmm. But the other party should come to a point knowing that, okay, this is not the role of a man. This is not how a man should be. A man can actually show emotion. A man can actually be vulnerable to his family yeah. and these changes. So looking at all of some other serious belief systems also, it can really change. So if we have the time, we'll look at some of them that uh, we face uh, in relationships and marriage, especially in Africa. Mm. Awesome. All right. Awesome. We're, we're being told that um, we're almost running out of time. But before we go, um, Taribo, hang in there. You'll give us one or two words of advice. Before we go, I need to get this load off my shoulder. Is culture the same as tradition? Very quickly. Well, they're, they're, they're a bit different. And um, uh, very quickly, just <laughs> to let you know. Um, you know, tradition is more, a little bit more in-depth, a little more okay. grounded within than, um, than, than culture is. So, okay. um, trying to just run All right. it up. And um, uh, Taribo, you know, we're looking at yeah. should we go or should we stay? You know, at this critical point, what would you say are the three key things that the people involved in this relationship must take into consideration? Okay, first we need to consider this. We are the strength of, of our similarity. For us to keep that marriage, for us to keep that relationship, our similarities have to be greater than our differences. Mm. So you should not, if you want to stay, and accept the differences, first of all, be sure that you are not violating your conscience in order to please the, the other person. Mm -hmm. Because over time, you will constantly have conflict. 
and dissatisfaction and depression we go. So these different beliefs, how do they impact on you as an individual and the relationship and the marriage moving forward? Okay. That will help you. Okay. They are core beliefs. They have to have common values and common belief system for you to move on and be happy. Okay. Thank you so much, John. <laughs> Thank you so much, Aribo. Thank you so much, um, Mudukwe. Well, you succeeded yeah. in doing the woman Thank to you. woman. Thank you, John and I did, and the man, I did the man to man. <laughs> and it wasn't planned, you know? Yes. It wasn't planned. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much yeah, for sharing your yeah. thoughts with us. Thanks well, so much. value naturally exists whether we recognize them or not, as we have learned this morning from our two guests. And they determine our priorities. We live by them. They reflect who we are or who we wish to become. Well, you have been of tremendous value once again, you know, to this show. And we hope, and hopefully, you have been able to provide an answer, you know, to one or two people who are at this point of making this very critical decision in their lives. Once again, thank you. Taribo, thank you once again. Yes. Uh, well, I'll just wrap up by saying that uh, an old man once said, choose your life mate as a partner carefully for, from this decision will come 90% of all of your happiness and misery. Mm. Mm. That's, That's scary. Very wise advice. That's very, very scary, <laughs> but profound, so John. be careful what you do. Yeah, <laughs> marriage is very critical, and yes. relationships are very important. Now, moving on, we are actually in the position of indecision. Should I go, or should I stay in this marriage, in this relationship, what have you? Let's look at the place of communication. That's where we are focusing next yeah. in our the next segment with the next guest. Okay, so we'll take a quick break when we come back. Communication will take center stage.